Hello and welcome to another video for this workshop. In this video we're gonna go on the uh, 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 mouth blend shapes part that it's gonna be probably one of the longest ones uh, so bear with me on probably I'm gonna cut this at uh, this part in several videos so it's a bit easier to uh, to follow up but first things first uh, the first thing you will note on the on the screen right now it's that I'm in Maya 2020 so I decided like it was released like a few weeks ago like the 2020.3 that was um this release fixed some of the issues that i had in the previous releases with some um like a manipulation evaluation so now i think it's it's uh good to go for production unless i find something bigger later on <laughs> in this uh series or on production but for the moment i think it's 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 very very good release this one so i decided to move all the workshop to 2020 so that's the first thing the other thing is like because i installed this and i created like a fresh like kind of installation with some um plugins updated so i updated shapes to the latest release that it's uh 5.7 if i'm what is the information here oh i don't know but yeah, I think it's um wow, it's not here the info. Anyway, it's I think it's a 5.7, it's the latest one. So it's gonna be a little change on the interface compared to the previous video that I posted uh, last week. That actually that video was recorded like almost a year ago, so I'm sorry for that. It's not big, big changes. I mean it's almost the same thing, but there is some updates on the interface and some improvements, of course, and so on. So some of this I will discover uh, also with you, so bear with me also with that because maybe I <laughs> do some mistakes because this version is new also for me. The other thing I updated was uh, ng skin tools. I was in the 1.7 or I don't remember, and now I'm in the 1.8.2. That is the latest for the 1.x releases because. Victoris is also working on the 2.0 that you can also download and test by yourself but he says it's not like a feature complete for production so I already have installed it I didn't try it too much yet but maybe in some part of the this workshop we will use it just to to try out but for the moment we're gonna stick with the 1.8 so for the rest should be the same um, the first thing I'm gonna do here is um, deactivate my uh, playback cache so I, we don't have this uh, caching all the time while we are doing the rigging. I, th I don't think there is any sense to do that while you're rigging, so I just deactivate it. Okay, for the rest should be the same, and uh, sorry if I miss something or uh, there is some issues during this recording because, as I'll tell you, I didn't try that much everything. I just set up everything right now, and I'm going to jump ahead to that. Okay, so... First things first, this is the status that we had from the latest uh, video that we did on, on not the latest uh, because it was, was the shapes, but the, the previous one that was the uh, for, for customer steps. So we're going to go to the um, the corrective lane shapes on the mouth. And for that, well, I'm going to just hide here my local rig for the lips and I'm going to get proportions back. We're going to work on this one, on the proportions. and you remember on the on the this proportions custom step that we did a connection and this connection we will um remove it later and we will act, reactivate it here and the reason is because when we create our shapes um setup and we export it then when we bring it back we want to add this connection at the end not at the beginning so shapes needs to build from scratch the the um the node um for that okay so first thing first we need to start creating our range of motion for the facial and i start with a very basic movement and we can go later and add more uh like in betweens or positions very specific so for the moment i'm gonna work with the white so I'm just white narrow and then up down that will be my basic range of motion after that we will create the combination so we will create like up wide and down wide and then for the narrow up and down uh, you can do it if you want like as, as a practice but to be honest 
you don't do this kind of when you do narrow and you don't you cannot smile almost like if you do like white and smile or or shot like very very cartoony yeah you can do that but for the narrow it's, it's very compressed already so we will do that later we will maybe do the poker a little bit so when it goes up the lip and that will be uh, or range of motion so that will be this video and the next one we start like with the um, with the corrective lens shape modeling okay so let's start um, so I like to create one uh, keyframe for each frame so this is how I do my range of motion I don't I later I, I, I try the like the transitions between one to another so uh, we can do it as as you want but for the moment I'm just gonna create this so I'm just gonna go with this and I'm gonna save one keyframe here now I go with my uh, whoops just in local space and go for my white and you can see here we can adjust a little bit here okay so around here okay I forgot to move the frame just middle click save keyframe next one so we can we can go for the narrow around here and you see here the skinny maybe I oh like I just jumped at one okay so this here okay reset so we have white narrow now we're gonna go to the up and you can see here this is very ugly shape right now I mean of course we can adjust it doing like that but we don't want to have these controls for the animators uh, to have to move and rotate and then so we're gonna just go with a straight transition like this one so save and go again down and I'm a ball in everything so right, you can be more cautious more um, like thought about what you're doing with this uh, range of motion uh, for the video i'm just want to go fast because that's a uh, i don't want to get too boring okay so we have have down so now for the for the others i'm not gonna um, well indeed i should be doing something here sorry so this is my white and translate this should be zero I can save there so and I'm just gonna point this 0.5 so I mean it's not needed to have this exact this is point uh, two three so point 0.25 maybe just be more narrow and um, the reason because I'm doing this it's to have uh, more uh, like clear where is the exact point so um just point three there save and then this is negative so i'm just going to use negative point three so we have the same range and here when you do the ranges i mean it's important then the feeling that you get in the movement it's um linear so when you go from narrow to wide the transition where it goes to the neutral position and continues to become the narrow one uh, sorry the, the wider one you want to feel that transition as smooth as possible or linear that's that's the goal because the animator doesn't want to I mean you don't want the animator that needs to contrabalance or uh, contra animate the change of the speed when you do the animation so that's very important you need to be conscious of that okay now I did this this range and I put all my values something that it's easier to recall because now I know my app is 0.3 and point so I just can need to go here go here and now my app it's 0.3 so I'm just cheating a little here but you see now what I'm doing now I go for my narrow again and I know it's negative 0.3 so just go here negative 0.3 wow this is gonna be fun okay and that's it for the the lips but don't forget you need to create also the open jaw so we can create this and we can just let me see if I'm 
I can do it here because I always copy and then it and let me let me do it again. I, I always here with the timeline it's I find super difficult like copy why disappear my selection. Okay, finally. And now we just need to here this is the neutral, so we have here neutral and uh, here and here I'm just gonna open my mouth so again it's negative 0.5 here also these values depends of your character okay and I have same thing with the mouth open okay so that's it for the range of motion I'm gonna save that and yeah hopefully you don't need to see me again touching these keyframes or the top shape that's uh, a bit embarrassing okay so we have this now I'm checking this and see maybe we can touch a little bit this smooth maybe we can go back to the um, to the lips one and play around with the the mouth one and see how far we can go with the smoothing and all this area because when you move your your mouth and everything is moving it's pulling your skin all around so this is something that you can do on your own and just try to practice a little more but yeah for the moment that's it for this part and let's continue in the next video